Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the All A7 Podcast Show. Viewer discretion is advised. is getting water and water each day and so is the weather. I can say winter was very short and climate change is taking over. It's none other than genius kids and my name is Tawanga Benyuda Mugwanyu. I'll be standing in for DJ Ola tonight. With me here today in the studio is Mr. Lead to Africa Zimbabwe 2024 and he was also crowned Mr. Valentine 2024 and talking of climate change he advocates for he advocates for mitigating the impacts of climate change. He is a climate change ambassador. Welcome to the show, Josh. Thank you so much, Benny, for having me here today. Oh, wow. How are you? How are you feeling? Nervous. You're nervous? But also feeling comfortable. You're comfortable. So if you're, if you're comfortable, then you have no reason to be nervous, okay? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so um, can you tell me about yourself, like... Who is Josh? If I'm asked, who is Josh Muzenda? How old are you in your fam? How, how old? How old are you? How many are you in your family? And the position that you are in your family as well? I'm nine years old. I'm in the second position of four children and two parents. Oh, four children and two parents. So how many children? Four. Four. And you're in the second position. Yes. You're in school, okay? Which school do you go to? Direct contact. Direct contact. How many subjects do you do in school? Six. Six subjects in primary school. Yes. Six. Are you sure? Six as in six. The six yes. that I know. Yes. What's your favorite subject? Maths. You like maths? Why do yes. you like maths? It's easy for me. Maths is easy. And understandable. Let's not get there. Do you have a favorite teacher? Yes. Who is your favorite teacher? Mem Rukau. Mem Rukau. <sighs> we'll get to school. Let's talk about modeling right now. Like, okay. <laughs> I just need to know about modeling because you're holding a very great title. Lead to Mr. Africa Zimbabwe, 2024. And you're also Mr. Valentine, 2024. So I need to understand something about your modeling journey. Like, how did you get involved? How did you start, like, being involved in modeling? Like, what sparked your interest in modeling? I used to see all these cool dudes advertising cool stuff on, on billboards. So I asked my mom to book me up for training sessions and with the best coach, it's okay. With the best coach, Ishma Mrangande, aka the Crown Hunter, and we finally went for boot camp. And now here I am through all this hard work. So I also a cool, a cool guy that yes. you used to see on billboards. <laughs> yes. Sure. Sure. Do you have friends? Yes. What do you guys do? What do you guys do during your spare time? We play rugby. 
You are a rugby player, Mr. Men. That's why I'm not smiling. Can you just give me a smile? <laughs> At least thank you very much for that. So you play rugby. Yes. What do you enjoy most about rugby? I enjoy the tackling and scoring because when you're tackling, you can hear the crowd cheering you up. When you're scoring, you can hear the crowd cheering you up. So do you have like a specific position that you play for in rugby? Yes, a prop. A prop. Pro- prop. 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 Hey, I'm learning. It seems as if you're the one hosting me. <laughs> because I'm learning a lot from you from modeling. We are now at rugby. So when it comes to rugby, like it requires somebody who is very fit. How do you manage to stay fit and healthy for you to be able to, to play rugby? Because I hear you love rugby. You love rugby a lot. And you even play rugby during your spare time with your friends. How do you manage to, to stay fit like your routine? What's your fitness routine like? At home from our gate to our boom gate, we have a 50 meter road. Mm-hmm. So in the morning, I wake up early and run. And just after school, I take my bike and go cycling for about five meters. After that, I go back home and do some training like squats, jumping jacks, push ups. And after all this, I eat some fruits. Oh my goodness, you eat grapes. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Because when you talk of foods, food, some of us think of grapes. So you do all this before, like, before you go to school, in the morning, you go to the bomb gate you mentioned. Yes. So this is before you go for school. Yes. My guy's school is tiresome. After school, you also do some exercises. You do cycling. You do, I, I just don't know, you're just mentioning a whole lot of things. And you still manage to, to do your schoolwork. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. I'm inspired. Can I say I'm a role model? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Do you have a role model in rugby and um, why is the person your role model? Tenai Mtawari, the beast, the beast <laughs> is my role model in rugby because not only does he play rugby, he's also in the exact same position as I play in rugby, a prop. And I think you can see it yourself that I'm also a mini beast myself. <laughs> yeah, a mini beast. <laughs> and that prop position I was still talking about Mm -hmm. a prop is someone who is in charge of tackling and racking off when someone has been tackled now you're talking of the tackling tackling ah i don't know whatever the beast is just a lot i thought you know um rugby is just about people who um physically fit and they have muscles work out but when you as you as you're explaining you're talking about something uh that's really important because you're talking about the positions, the skills that are required in rugby, not just you. And, and apart from that, you're also fit. And I hear you have a special talent in drumming. Is it true? Yes. How did it all start? It started with me eh, knowing that I have the ability to play marimba. So I asked my mom to book me up with a personal drumming teacher. And now I know how to play drums. You play drums? You're a rugby player? You're a model? All that? Yes. What's your favorite drumming memory so far? Playing for the school band in exemplary, in provincial level. Provincial level. So you're in the school club? Yes. For drumming? Yes. You're also in the school team? Yes. For rugby? Yes. Who is your drumming inspiration? Are there any drummers or musicians that you can say you look up to? And what do you admire about them? My drumming inspiration is Harry Styles, and I admire that he's a confident drummer who cares about what no one says about him, just like me. Just like you? You don't care about what people say about you? I don't. Yes. I'm loving this. Like, do you, do you have, you are like, what you can say your favorite drumming technique, or maybe, because I hear you mentioning about, um, when you're talking about rugby, you're talking about the position that you are, that you play for in rugby. So when it comes to to drumming, is there a technique or a position or something that you can say, this is my favorite? I love playing along the jazz beat. Along the jazz beat. I'm yes. learning a lot. I told you, you're here to educate me. <laughs> I, I doubt if I'm still hosting you because you're here educating me. I'm learning, learning, learning. And today when I, when I go back home, I'll be telling them about all this drumming, rugby. And maths is a favorite subject. And yes. maths is also my favorite subject in Delt. So do you have songs that you play on drums or have you played before? Like, how is that like? You know, if you start playing a song for me right now on drums, mm. marimba, or even singing, I can catch along to it. Any song? Yes, any song. 
My guy. You said you're nine. Are you, are you really nine years? Yes. Are you sure? Very sure. How do you practice? Like, you told me about your fitness schedule, right? As you keep fit for rugby. So about drumming, like, how is your practice like? Most of the time I'm with my personal drumming teacher who teaches me new techniques because you need counts to be able to play drums. Mm -hmm. Have you ever performed in front of an audience, maybe, you know, at an event, then you play and everybody's watching you? Yes, I have. Where? At school, in Chinyarad's or children's home. Harare Children's Home, and many more. You know what? Next time you're taking me with you. If you leave me, you can drum. Like, tell me, what do you love the most about drumming? I love the sound that drums produce to me because just sitting behind that chair and playing and playing the drums, mm -hmm. I feel happy. It's something that comforts me when I'm sad. When you're, when you're drumming, it comforts you. It also entertains me. Yeah, it's entertainment actually because, you know, uh, oftentimes you go to events and people are playing drums, they are playing all those musical instruments and we enjoy that a lot. So I'm actually glad to hear that you also enjoy playing, like it's something that you enjoy, it's something that entertains you as well. So now back to your title, to the little Mr. Africa that we have today, right? You were crowned like me to, uh, Little Mr. Africa, Zimbabwe 2024. Can you just take me through the preparations that you had as you're preparing for the pageant? First, my mom booked me up with my Tama, the creative director of Little Mr. and Miss Africa. And then second, she booked me up with one of the best trainers she knows, Ishma Mrangande, a.k.a. the Crown Hunter, mm -hmm. who took me from level 1 to level 100. After that, we were signed up for boot camp, and now here I am through this hard work. Your mom should be very supportive, isn't it? Yes, very. Because you mentioned my mom, my mom, my mom did this, my mom booked, my mom, my mom, my mom. Hey, so like, is she proud of you right now? Very proud. Very proud of you, right? How do you manage, how do you manage to balance school and modeling? Like, when you're preparing for the Little Mr. Africa, how did you balance your school work as well as your, med your modeling practice? On that schedule and timetable I was telling you about, it has specific days. Like on Monday, I can go for marim I can go for school at break time, marimba, lunch time, drums. The next day, Tuesday, I can go for school in the morning. I can go to the gym after, mm -hmm. and then later in the day, I can go searching for more drumming skills, rugby, a lot beginning to think that you don't have a social life. Like, do you have time when you're maybe at home and you're with your siblings? Not doing anything related to drumming, rugby, you're just, you're just you and your siblings and your family members. Just your, just your so social time. Do you have that? Yes. Are you sure? Very sure. So your schedule helps you to maintain all this, like to manage all this that you manage? Yes. Okay, so back to the uh, modeling journey. So when you're preparing, like, how was the feeling like when competing with other kids? How did you feel? Because this is a pageant and it's a competition. And you have other people who are also expecting to win. At first, you feel nervous. Mm -hmm. But just remembering how much effort your parents put into signing you up with the best coaches, that fear eventually disappears. Did you expect to win? Yes. Hey, so you knew that you were going to win? Yes. So when they announced you, are not shocked? <laughs> not shocked at all. You did not faint or anything? No. You knew it? Knew it. Yo, 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 yo. I love the confidence. Because you knew that you are the winner in whatever that you are doing. You are talking about the effort that you are putting in, uh, uh, as well. Like, what do you enjoy the most about modeling? Because talking of knowing that you are the winner comes with um, a lot of confidence, a lot of something that you, that you love, the interest that you have in modeling. What's your favorite part in modeling like, that you can say, I love this part about modeling? I love getting to be exposed to many people, mm -hmm. knowing a lot about people, mm -hmm. you know? That's what you love? Yeah. Like, do you have any memories that you created in, in modeling that you can say, this is a memorable event? 
like in modeling. Can you tell me about it? Yes, when we went to boot camp, right? Mm-hmm. I attended my very first pyjama party. Oh. All this time hearing my mom and my dad go out for pyjama parties, I just wondered what it's like to experience one. So they used to go with their friends and leaving you out. Yeah. And now you now you enjoyed it. Yes. You went you experienced them like I'm creating this memory. This is me now at a pyjama party. Yes. And when you went when, when you went back home, you told them like I attended a pyjama party. Yes. Oh, and then I also even attended a pyjama party. So I hope next time I'll attend. You can come to my birthday party next year. Next year? <laughs> How many months to next year for me to wait for next year? In six months. Six my months. birthday's in March. In March. And mine is in February. So we start with mine. Then I'll come to your pyjama party. So when it's like um, still on modeling, who is your fashion icon? Someone that you can say, I look up to when it comes to fashion or modeling. That you can say, oh, this is my person, this is my role model. Whatever that I want to do, I want to be like this person. Mr. Mdiwa Hood. The Mr. Mdiwa. Hey. The owner of MH. Mdiwa mm-hmm. Hood. Yes. You know, looking at Mdiwa's pictures, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, you've never got something you wanted in life. For example, wanting a PlayStation for like forever. And then when you finally get it, mm-hmm. you will never stop thinking about it. That's how I feel when I'm looking at Mudiwa's pictures. Oh my goodness. So do you have a favorite pose? Like, I know Mudiwa has this pose. It's like, it's like this. Do you have what you call, what you can say, this is my favorite pose? Yes, the hand in the pocket pose. Hand in the pocket. Was it inspired by Mudiwa as well? Yes. Ah, so how do you stay confident, like, during a photo shoot, like when taking pictures, you know, when you have a hand in the pocket, how do you remain calm and feel so confident, you know? I'm like, this is me, this is Mr. Little Africa Zimbabwe. I imagine myself talking to someone who I'm comfortable with. Oh, so the moment you get comfortable, then you are calm, you, you remain confident when taking the picture. And um, yes. you know what, I learned one thing again, another thing. Yes. And in the pocket pause. Can ladies do that as well? No, usually ladies put the their hands on the waist. On the waist. But I want I want that one, the hands in the pocket. I can show you how to do it. You show me. Okay, I'll I'll make sure you show me before you leave, okay? So you could if you could model for any brand or any designer, who could it be? Like I said, MH, the MH. local brand owned by Mr. Mdiwa Hood. Hey, so he's your, he's your fashion icon, he's your favorite, hand in the pocket. If you could model for any brand, it would be MH. Yes. Hey, I, I think you need to see this guy. Does he know that you inspire him like this? No. He should know this. Like, what's the coolest, the coolest outfit you have worn for your shoot before? The, my red tuxedo suit I'm wearing right now. The one that you're wearing? Hey, Mr. Kudod. How are you feeling? Are you feeling cool? Yes. You are. But you, you're not smiling. You're limiting your smiles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, finally you smiled. So what, what, what advice would you give to other kids who wish to be models like you? To always believe in yourself and, keep, and always stay confident. Stay confident and believe in yourself. So um, you are the little Mr. Africa Zimbabwe 2024. What's next? Where do you go? Does the title take you anyway? Like what are the next steps like? I prepare myself for Egypt, the finals. When are you going to Egypt? Next year in April. Can I come with you? Yes. <laughs> so we'll go together, isn't it? Deal? Deal. Deal, yes. So, hey, you're into modeling, you're into rugby. And now one of the favorite topics that I like, you're also into climate change. You're a climate change advocate, is it? Yes. Advocate or ambassador? Ambassador. Exactly. Climate change ambassador. Why is climate change to you? Why climate change? Why not advocating for, um, you know, drug and substance abuse, advocating for other things? Why did you choose climate change specifically? If you heard about Cyclone, it died that took away many lives and left many people homeless. It really touched me, but also inspired me to keep on planting trees for the mitigation of climate change. So that is what inspired you, like, climate change? Yes. And you took the, um, the part of advoca- advocating for climate change? Yes. So how do you think like other young people like yourself can make a difference in, in addressing climate change issues? Like what they can do, what, what can they do, like the little that they can do? Hosting cleanup campaigns and tree planting campaigns. So what have you done before? Like have you hosted any? 
Yes, when we went to Chinyarazo Children's Home. Really? In Darare Children's Home. So how many projects like you've worked on uh, related to climate change advocacy? For now, I've worked on three. Three? Yes. This is amazing. Well done. Thank you. And how do you think climate change affects our planet? Nowadays, we're suffering from natural disasters in due to the circumstances of floods, mm -hmm. hurricanes, mm -hmm. and many more. So what actions do you think we can take to reduce our impact to, um, on the environment? Like all of us, not just many people your age, or everyone who wants to is interested, and, and, and everyone who can actually do something, you know, to reduce the impacts. To keep on planting trees. Mm -hmm. And to do, do, uh, you, did you happen to participate in the National uh, Tree Planting Day? Yes. Oh, well done. I will, I'll keep on saying well done until we are done. So if you also participated in any environmental um, related projects, maybe in school, uh, in your community, apart from the national tree planting and the ones that you told me about, like in your community, do you also participate in that school as well? Yes, the Every Child uh, Tree Program was inspired by the First Lady, my auxiliary mm Nangagwa, -hmm. and it was started... For me, I know that it was started by our school. By your school? So then that's when you, you, you participated? Yes. Wow. This is, this is good news. Hey, you need to tell me something. Are you really nine? Hmm? Are you really nine? Yes. Are you sure? Sure. This is just something for me. What do you think adults can learn from kids uh, when it comes to protecting the planet? Like adults like myself. What can we learn from you? So you've been doing a lot. You can learn that planting a tree saves a life. Mm -hmm. And if you're destroying a tree, you're also destroying, an, you're also destroying the environment. Mm. I've, I've actually, I'm, I, I keep on learning from you, you know, because you're talking about from modeling, process, now climate change, rugby. I, I just don't know what I'm going to be doing after this show tonight. <laughs> Am I going to start on my fitness journey? Am I going to plant a tree soon after the show? Because I've been learning a lot. So at your school, are they, is there any program or um, a club um, that you could join to address climate change? Or you have started one? The goal, the achievement is to start one where we can plant one million trees by end of year. End of this year? Yes. So how many trees have you planted now? 125 trees so far. 125 trees. And you want to get 1 million? Yes. It's, it's possible, actually. We can get there, isn't it? Yeah. Moving on. Now, please, please, please tell me. You told me about your schedule. Is this how you balance, like, your modeling, your rugby, your climate change, your books? your family time, your everything. Do you, do you create a schedule for all this? Yes. So you make sure you know this is time for family? Yes. When it's, uh, now this is time for exercise? Yes. Now this is time for this and that and that. I think I also need to create a schedule. I'm learning a lot, and I'll keep on learning. Do you want to come back to the show next time? Yes. And you teach me more? Yes. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure you come back and teach me, and teach me more, okay? So are there any challenges that you have faced uh, in pursuing your passions? Like, you know, you want to you do climate change, or you want to be modeling. Are there any challenges that you have faced before? And how did you overcome them? The challenge of being nervous. Oh, yeah, you mentioned about it. You know, being nervous is something that's very common. Mm -hmm. But if you want to overcome it, you just have to believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. That's how I overcome my fear. Believing in yourself. So you, you believe in yourself. You believe you can do it, you know. You are made for greatness. You can do anything. You can do modeling. You can be a climate change ambassador and still excel in school and miss being your favorite subject. Yes. Wow, this is good news. So where do you see yourself, like, in the future, be it um, in your modeling career, be it when, it, when uh, relating to issues to do with climate change, Family, a family of four, like where do you see yourself in the future? I wish to become a model for the for our local brand MH. MH, we're talking about MH again. <laughs> Are you inspired for real? 
and at the tree planting side, I see myself moving from country to country, encouraging people to keep on planting trees mm -hmm. for the mitigation of climate change. Wow, this is great. At least you're actually envisioning yourself, you know, somewhere there. You know you can do it. You know you can you can be a model for MH because, you know, Mudua who has been your inspiration. So are there any projects um, or goals you're working on right now? Yes, like I said, the goal to have planned one million trees by end of year. By end of year. And uh, I'd forgotten something. Your sister's also a model. Yes. What's an name? Praise. Yes. I'm, I'm, I just want to invite Praise for like two minutes, maybe to just say something. Okay. Do you wish to have Praise joining us? Yes. Okay, sure. Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family, buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. So today in the studio, I have uh, Josh Muzenda, who is lead to Mr. Africa Zimbabwe 2024, and he's also a climate change ambassador. And right just now, I've been joined by his sister, Praise. Hi, Praise. I'm fine. How are you? I feel great. You feel great? You're also a model, and I can tell you're a model. Is it a family of models? Or is it just the two of you? It's just the two of us. Your parents are not models? They're not. They're just supportive? Yes. How old are you? I am seven. You're seven? He's nine and you're seven. Yes. And you guys are already models. This, yes. is, this is great work. So are you in school? Where do you learn? I learn at direct contact school. Oh, yeah, the same school. So you also do six subjects? No. Sometimes you do six, sometimes you do seven. Sometimes six, sometimes seven. Like... Can you just can you just, just give me a brief something about your modeling journey? Like, how did you get to be in modeling? It started in April when I just saw others modeling, and then I just asked myself, "Can I do it?" And then I just started doing it. Then started doing it, and here you are today with your brother. Well done. This is good. So, what do you, what do you want to to say to other people? I also want to to be models like yourself? Just be confident and believe in yourself. You guys are preaching the confidence gospel. Hey, confidence. I was talking about confidence. Here you are, confidence. So you guys, confidence, confidence, confidence. I have learned something today. In fact, I learned a lot and from you as well. So I just thought it's good for you to also join us since you're also a model and in, we are interviewing your brother. Yes. Were you prepared? <laughs> You're always confident. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Praise. Uh, let's take a short break. Welcome back uh, as we have Mr. Little Africa, Josh the one that I'm calling the cool dude, the cool guy in the studio today. So earlier on, you mentioned that you're going to show me some poses, you know, some hand-in-the-pocket poses in your suit. I, I don't remember the name, but can you just show me something like maybe three poses? Hey, hey, I'm loving the suit. Hmm. That's the hand-in-the-pocket one. Okay, another one, let's see. That's why, that's why the serious face works. I now understand. Beside the humble boss. Hey. 
This one is called what? The side end. Hey, 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 Mr. Kumen. Thank you very much. You can take your seat. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll not call you Josh anymore. I'll call you Mr. Ku. Mr. Kumen, Mr. Ku, cool, dude, whatever that I think of because, you know, you say this is your coolest outfit. Like, when you're, when you're wearing it, you feel very cool. You feel you're the little MH, isn't it? So what's one thing that you want to say to others, maybe protecting the, uh, concerning protecting the environment or just anything like you want to say to the rest of the people who are watching us? Remember, we are live, so people are watching. So what's one thing that you want to say, be it people your age, be it adults, anything? I would like to tell them that never destroy a tree because you never know what comes in front. Never destroy a tree. What if I want to use it for firewood? <laughs> If you are destroying a tree, immediately plant it back. Plant another one. Or even more. Even more. So if I destroy a tree, I'll plant two. Isn't it? Yes. But I'll make sure I'll not destroy a tree. And I'm sure people are hearing it, that they should not destroy a tree. Never destroy a tree. So this applies to either old people, young people, whoever. Because everyone can destroy a tree. So it yes. applies to everyone. There you have it. Well, what an interesting conversation we had today with Josh. Remember, this show is open to everyone. If you know of any geniuses, be it from different backgrounds, let us know on the number on the screens, then we we'll give you the spotlight. My name is Benny. Once again, see you next time. Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino induced drought together. EcoCash, live life the EcoCash way. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.